team was a lot of fun to, uh, to be the captain of. Whenever we would go out on tournaments, uh, our coach would always um, prepare with us before we started. That was a good experience. And it was just a lot of fun to see, to be with a group of guys and get to know them and help them grow. I would say the highlight of the season was possibly the cheer clinic or just um, bonding outside of class. I would say that we went to BJ's together for Christmas and we all dressed up and gave each other a secret Santa. So that was really fun. And then also um, with the cheer clinic, we each got to hang out with little girls and a couple of guys. And we've had sleepovers and hangouts and so we're just able to bond really well. One way that we try to glorify God as a team is first we do devotions every Wednesday as a team and each girl gets a chance to lead a devotion and it's just a really good time bonding as a team and also just really growing in our faith together. Our team verse this year was Matthew 5.16, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. My favorite part of the tennis season was when coach would drive awful and we would all fall out of our seats on top of each other. I led all of the warm-ups and uh, prayers at times as well. Or one way that the team honored Christ through this season was uh, before every game, um, we, we would always you know, huddle up and, and we would pray together as a team. And then after um, our match, um, no matter how we did, if we lost or we won, um, we would always pray together as a team. And I think that really kind of um, grew the team together and it made us just realize how important it was to, to have God be the number one focus of our team. Our Coast Country verse is about perseverance and just uh, pushing, pushing on to the race set before us. And so we just uh, worked hard in practice and I felt like we worked hard as, harder as the season went on. The highlight of Cross Country was um, doing the pasta parties. They like got our team together and talked about how we can improve in running. My favorite part of leading, I would say, was um, uh, just kind of being uh, an influence, I guess, us and the senior guys being an influence towards all of the younger freshmen uh, and sophomores, and just uh, raising them up and um, just kind of teaching them the ways of cross country and being able to um, just train with them uh, for the coming weeks. We kind of came together to, uh, for the glory of God. We just played well as a team, we had good chemistry and uh, just uh, the captains helped to lead the team into the playoffs and we did well in the playoffs. Why do I like this sport, huh? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe because I'm amazing at it and I'm the best ever. Yeah, that's probably it. My favorite memory would, uh, would have to be making the playoffs this year. Last year, I don't think anyone expected us to be where we were this year. As a team, we grew and uh, we had a lot of the same guys come back and because of that experience that we brought back and because of the hard work that we put in earlier in the season and in the off season, we were able to get back to the playoffs, which seemed like a lofty goal at the beginning, but at the end, it, it was kind of a dream come true and kind of the fulfillment of everything that we worked for. Favorite memory from the football season was probably beating Lyman. We beat them 30, 38 to 14. That was pretty good because they were the number three team in the state at the time, and no one was giving us hope because we just lost to Crowley County. And people were like, hey, Joe, hey, yeah, you guys suck. Well, no, we didn't. We guys, we beat them really bad. So one of the biggest things about football is uh, we did try to incorporate God into everything that we did. Uh, before and after practice, we would come together and we'd pray as a team just to make sure that football is not all about, uh, it's not all like a self-service sport. It's We all have to work together to uh, get a goal accomplished. And we can never forget that God is a part of um, essentially a part of our team and we can't do anything without God. Before games we would do devotions, like everyone would take a turn leading a devotion before the games and that was a really cool experience, like getting to dig deeper into the word of God with our team, which was really awesome. I would say the highlight of the season was taking Manitou to five sets at their home gym and just seeing all the support from all of our fans and uh, our fans dressed in all white and their fans dressed in all black and it was just Really cool seeing the environment there and all the energy and support from everyone. Uh, even though we lost, it still was a great game and definitely one of the highlights.
favorite part of leading was just seeing all the players grow because um, I got to play with them over this uh, summer. I just got to see how they encourage each other and we had a hard season since last year and coming up from that. Really cool. I think the high this year, especially with just being able to be with all the girls and just get to know them and see them compete, and just the improvement of the program in general, because last year was really bad, and this year we came to the 16 and we're hoping to make it farther next year, but yeah, I think the lows and definitely good in the had different roles of leadership. Trey's leadership was the kind and quiet, just did what he should. Peter's and mine were more snapping at people and telling them what they did wrong. Justin led by just his phenomenal heart and how he played so hard. And really all throughout, even if you weren't catching everybody, he showed up to the presentation. I think we honored Christ in many different ways this year. After every practice and before every game, we always played it. We prayed that we would play to the best of our ability and honor Christ in the way we played. That was a, a big goal in what we did. We were pretty encouraging. We always had the entire bench stand up when someone subs out and give everyone a high five. Just good job. We always make sure to encourage the other team also, just by saying good game and like good hustle in the game and after the game. It's a uh, high of the season was probably uh, Johan breaking his nose by trying to do a backflip and kneeing himself in the face so he couldn't rest and slide that. that was Good time. One way we really glorified God during the season was just the way we encouraged and talked to everyone on our team. Just the, the team communication was just always glorifying to God. The way we encourage people after losses and victories, the way we push each other during practice, and the way we just loved our coaches as fathers was really, it was really a good way to show Christ and his love throughout our entire team and our entire season. So my favorite memory was when we drove an hour all the way up to Florence for a tournament and it, it had been snowing but no one had told us it was cancelled so we just went out there anyway and when we pulled up there was no one there and apparently it, it had been cancelled but no one had told us. But of course Mr. Rollins knew but he just didn't tell us. My favorite part of track season is going on recovery runs on the off days. We go on adventures and it's really fun to meet new people and hang out and get to know all the underclassmen. I was happy about how everyone encouraged each other this season. It's been a kind of up and down season with all the weather and all the meets canceled. So, And doing all the races, you have all the people cheering for you and it's great. Amen, brother. Being from a Christian school, I would say it's pretty important to honor God in our sports and uh, in men's volleyball, we do that in a couple of ways. I think the most important is that we pray before every game. I think that's a good testimony and uh, also we take the refs no matter how bad they are. So that's kind of cool. These are usually worth it. My favorite memory probably from uh, the season of volleyball is probably Cameron Smitty line judging. Uh, every single game they would get out, like they'd break out like these tuxes or Hawaiian uh, shirts or whatever and ties and stuff like that. So I would say that my favorite memory during the team yeah. season would be um, when we went, when we drove up to Salida and when we got off the bus, everyone had to go to the bathroom and there was only this porta john. And so some of the girls were getting in the bathrooms, and my best friend and I would start acting like we're going to tip over the quarter john. And her and I are both captains, and we'd scare them. And some of them would just yell at us to stop. And it was really funny for the moment because everyone was dying to go to the bathroom, and it was before the match even like started. 
Okay, so we do this thing with our team, and we call them roast ups because it's like you're roasting them, but instead you're roasting them up. And so basically, we have everyone get in a big circle, and we have one person get in the middle, and um, we go through, and we each say something positive about them or something that we like about them, um, just to kind of encourage them all. So our last game, last home game, we played Salida, and we it was the game that we decided whether we were going to playoffs or not and our we were up to one and Gabby made a fantastic run and she like sprinted completely down the field and I had never seen anyone run that fast and she just beat the goalie and passed it and we just uh, made it to playoffs and we were all so excited we just started crying. I think the most memorable thing was being able to play with my two best friends here in high school, all on the same team, and uh, just having them be there the entire year and having them all with them in high school. My favorite memory is probably uh, I hit a dinger freshman year at Salida, and then I hit another dinger in my senior year at Salida to end it off. Uh, I think the uh, thing most, that we did most with encouraging each other was when uh, we were down. Everybody in the dugout would uh, lift each other up, clap each other up, and just tell each other that uh, do, do better next time. So. Okay, well, um, I think it's a, it's a great honor to be salutatorian this year, and um, kind of how I got there, I, uh, I really just wanted to work as hard as I could, and I didn't really care about grade point or any of that. I didn't want to play the system, but I just worked as hard as I could, and I'll all my classes. I'm excited and I'm going to Virginia Tech next year and I'm really, really excited about that and studying some kind of engineering. I think the biggest influences in my life would definitely have to start with my parents. Seeing them work hard throughout their life and just pouring out into me and giving me all the opportunities that they can definitely motivated me to work my hardest. But I would also have to add in that one of my biggest influences and motivations were to glorify God with whatever talents he gave me. And not just to succeed, but to make the most of whatever potential that he gave me. And so for those reasons, um, that's what really motivates me and gets me through to working my hardest. Working my hardest to succeed academically definitely affected other areas of my life. I think one of the hardest things was time management. Um, there were some sacrifices along the way, but I think in the end it was definitely worth it. And being able to serve God with my potential is one of the greatest and most rewarding things. So it affects all areas of my life by giving me that motivation and that hard work ethic. Winning the competition at Disney was just great because we put in so much hard work into the pieces, countless hours of just running through the pieces many times. So our band trip to California was a really good experience. Uh, we all grew really close together on our trip and it was really exciting and fun to play for uh, at the school and for the competition. Well, my favorite song would probably be Checks in the Mail. I haven't played it in like three years, but I remember that it was really fun. And I don't really remember it at all, but I remember experiencing a sense of euphoria whenever the name was mentioned and whenever I played it on my saxophone. So, yeah. My favorite song that we've sung in Witness is called Alleluia, and it's just one word over and over again. It's just the pure sound of 
angels worshiping. It's great practices for heaven, as Mrs. Flanagan would say, because it's just pure worship of God. And that's what seeing and using our gifts should be about. So my favorite place is when I went up to Allstate Choir, we sang in this huge theater called the Belco Theater. And this had probably room for about a thousand people. It was huge. There was choir, choir hangers that enunciated the sound. It was a lot of fun to sing there. But if I were to say as a group for Witness, we sang at Compassion International, which was a really a fun place to sing because we walked around. We sang to all the workers while they were working, and that was a lot of fun. So my struggle during the Witness was about the lyrics. So because the songs that we sang was like, oh, they had like hard and like old English, so like I had a struggle with learning it and memorizing the lyrics. But except that, everything was fine. And I Take it off, take it in, take off all the thoughts of what we've been. Take a look, hesitate, take a picture you could never recreate. Write a song. I learned from being treasurer was um, that detail is really important and just working in the systems with the business office and getting all the finances in order has really taught me to be a detail-oriented person and grow in my ability to uh, work with finances and, uh, and accounting so that's one thing I can definitely use for the future. So I'd say God has shown me through Acts it's the uh, impact of nonprofits in the community and uh, just how much they care about God's people and just, just uh, what they want to do for it. So I guess God show me how important it is to make sure that uh, nonprofits are taken care of because they take care of His people. So probably the most important thing I've learned this year as co-president of Acts um, is that leadership is not about what your people can do for you, but rather what you can do for your people uh, in order to be productive in anything to meet deadlines specifically. You can't just order your people around; they'll not be motivated by that, but rather you need to make sure that they're fully equipped to get the job done on time. You need to be checking in with them regularly, make sure they understand what is needed of them, and make sure that they understand how to get there. The important thing I learned this year, being the band leader of the student ministries, was regardless of whatever, get, whatever gifts God has given you, it's important to use these gifts to build other people up in Christ. It may not help you as much, however, I've learned from student ministries for playing music. I can see how playing praise and worship really helps other people come closer and in touch with God, even though it may not affect me as much. This year has been an awesome, awesome year of leadership. I've been co-student body president with Ben, and I've learned a lot about putting events on and about um, leading my peers and about mostly just being a servant and being a servant leader and what that looks like. Um, doing the lowest jobs, but also being able to oversee and delegate things. I've definitely grown a lot, and it's been an awesome opportunity to be able to lead my fellow classmates and 
train up new leaders. I'm really excited where CSS is going to go next year. Student Body President has been a great time. The uh, most important thing I've learned from being student body president and being in um, student government for the past four years has been to be a servant to others. Um, it is extremely important to serve those who are um, following you because it, it's a great way to lead by example and that's how you build up the most um, support underneath you and it's also a way to show um, that you value people and uh, appreciate the work that they're doing for you. So one way that I can use uh, the role of being a shepherd in the future is uh, I want to start a church and I want to be a pastor. So one thing that I've learned this year is just kind of how to um, take care of everyone who's in my group, who's in student ministries. And I think that's really important to do in the future when I have a, a church, um, essentially, is I'll be able to, to take care of all of the, the staff that works there and I'll be able to help pastor them, really shepherd them. And, uh, so I think that's it's a, it's a really fitting title of a shepherd. Um, some, of the, some of the events that I put on this year was uh, the student leadership retreat um, where in November a bunch of the student leaders of the school went up to Camp Elam and spent a couple nights there. Um, it was super awesome, it was a lot of work uh, to put everything on to kind of get the whole thing organized. Um, it was a lot of fun. Um, also the fun fair. Um, student ministries had two booths. We had the rock climbing wall which Camp Elam donated to us um, for that day and we had a beanbag toss which is actually a lot of work to put up. Um, with two different uh, sets of bean bags. It was pretty wild. And also, National Day of Prayer, um, which uh, took actually a lot more work than we thought it was going to. So for, for National Day of Prayer, we had to get everyone into their own rooms and everyone to know what they were doing on the day of. And it was really tough because no one was actually all together at one time, so it was a lot of uh, communication that we had to do outside of the school. Um, but it was, a lot of, it was a lot of work, but it paid off. The day was really good. Yeah. Uh, senior retreat was fun. I think it was a good time for the class to get together, like as one big class, probably the, for the last time until graduation. Uh, I think it was a good time. We had we played a lot of games, ate really good food, and a really good speaker with Michael Patel coming. It was a lot of hard work, but I think it paid off. So I'd say that um, as you know us, the two leaders of the video team, we're incredibly hard workers, you know, we never slack off. We were incredibly lazy workers who just slacked off on completely everything. We never got anything done on time and we were always 
we were always being told you need to pick it up, and uh, we um, we never. Um, we never are late on, our, on any of our deadlines. Yeah, we would continually get things in about a week or so after they were due, so that was another little part of it. Um, we find ourselves just really always focusing on what needs to be done in the video team. Uh, another good thing was how spastic me and Barry were. We would, ne we would always go just random and never do what we were supposed to do. We'd be working on activities, and oh, all of a sudden, ooh, there's a cool winter sports video. Let's go work on that one now. So things were a little out of order. Uh, yeah, we had a real tension. Me and Barrett, you'd constantly see fists flying in the comments. We'd have come up John Mark break us up at least twice a day when we work on video stuff after school. Uh, I also feel like that we've really kept kind of like a, a peaceful vibe, if I do say so myself, in the video team. You know, there's really no uh, tension. So that was that was also fun. Uh, yeah, we didn't stress about much, and that, that was the fun part of it. There's really no need to, uh, you know, stress about anything. I, I just really felt like we had everything together, you know, whether it was through the editing or the filming. And the best part was the five minutes a day we might spend kind of working back here on the video team stuff until the last week. Then we had to pull five, six hours a day. So that was, that was the fun part of video team. It was just times like that where I really felt like we grew together as a team.